Okay, hi. Okay, hi. I just want to show you um, my evening, how some of my evenings go for homeschooling. Today's Monday, so my children have been a part of a program, a co-op called Classical Conversations. And co-ops and homeschool are basically where you go to a site, whether it's someone's home, uh, a lot of times it's at churches. No, well, classical conversations a lot at churches, other places, wherever they have a place for you to meet. And it, where it is small groups of people who come together, kids, and their parents a lot of times are in those, in those sessions. And there's a tutor. And the tutor may be just a parent as well. So my children are in classical conversations. They started last year in September. One of them stayed in. The other one, he wasn't ready for homeschool, so I pulled him out and took him back to regular school. But now he's back. He's doing very good. And then my oldest one, at first he didn't want to be homeschooled, but when January came of this year, 2020, he was like, you know, I want to be homeschooled because he liked being home after a while. So we're enjoying it now. All three kids are in homeschool, and they're all in classical conversations. So this is what I found to help myself. In the evening times... I go over and say, especially with the youngest one who's in the, who's in sixth grade, because I feel like I need to um, guide him more. So we have boards. Let me switch it. Like many of you, we have dry erase boards. So he had erased already stuff I did from the beginning of October. So I purposely go in there and I put what we're going to do, what he's going to do, because he's old enough that I don't have to sit there with him, not in junior high school. He's old enough to do that, and so I structure him with this. Um, I also, sometimes I actually write it in his notebook, and he just goes through each thing. As far as the other two, one's in, one's in 10th grade, one's in 8th grade, they follow what CC, because it's called Classic Conversations CC for short. And basically, you go once a week, and they outline everything that you do for the week. Now... Just understand, a co-op like Classical Conversations, you are not mandated to do everything they say because you're homeschooling. You are in charge of how your student, how your child is being taught. But the purpose, say, like of CC is to help give you, the parent, a structure. And Classical Conversations is a great, even if you're not a Christian, a Christian I am, I love it. I'm going to tell you honestly, when I first started with my youngest one that I said I took him out to put him back in school, I was kind of lost because... We came in there late because, you know, they started in September and we started in October, which you can start anytime. And classical conversations really makes you think. School is not, the way that they teach the kids science and history and ELA is, I can tell you, I can't even explain. It's just different. But when you sit there as the parent and you have all the books that goes with it, you're like, oh, okay, this is really cool. So at first I used to say, I will never be the teacher because that's not my grace. But this year I decided, you know, you're going to have to make it your grace. Because especially your, your son, he's going to need you to really be in there. But I love it. So going back, this is my nighttime. Like I said, I write out. So for instance, on here, I, I have watched this around. So tomorrow, because today we were all at CC from 9 in the morning well, the older ones were there from 9 to 3. Where he, I decided not to put him in the first half program. Um, I think I was just trying to save some money. Whatever the case may be. So, I d deal with his math and science at home since he's not getting science and sciences in the daytime. Then we come home. And then tomorrow, he's going to, I have a book, a Bible workbook that he had from his school last year. His actual school. And I found it. I'm like, hey, we're gonna, going to incorporate this. So, he's going to do lesson six. Then I wrote some stuff while we were in CC today. Because the parent in his grade level needs to be in the class, you know, with the um, student. Um, if you have a situation where you can't be there, you know, that's something you talk with them, and I'm quite sure they'll let you in. What CC's all over the country. Um, so he's going to do Bible lessons. He's going to look in the green book that I took notes as well. I need to get him to start taking notes in there. Um, he's going, a, a whole bunch of different stuff. They do a lot of memorizations, which is really cool. Um, what else we're we going to do history. It's really cool the way they do history because I was never good in history And that's crazy because history is just reading right 
Um, but the way that they do it is really interesting. You sit there, they give you short passages like we did the Boston Tea Party, the Boston Massacre, and the, the way they have you, like I said, short passages, they're teaching you not just learning about the story, but they are, um, the way that they break down for you that you're actually learning what I'm trying to say, you learning how to write as well. So everything's like intertwined. So it's not just history you're learning at that moment. You are learning also ELA. You're learning about conjunctions and compound sentences and simple sentences, complex sentences, verbs, verbs, and transitive, transitive verbs, direct objects, which I honestly, of course I know about nouns, verbs, adjectives, and stuff like that, but I don't remember growing up learning about transitive and intransitive verbs. I just don't. So this is really interesting. And so then um, CC is not huge on math. Like they don't come because everybody math is always at a different level. So they'll go over stuff, but you at home, you do math. So what I love about their math at CC, I'm telling you, it is so interesting. The games we play with math, it's amazing. It's so much fun. So this is how, I, like I said, I, I write all this stuff down because so tomorrow, he said, the first day this year when I started him, I was not, this September, I was not set the first day because I needed to, I learned from then, the night before, write down the schedule of what he has to do. We also was, we were actually going to go into unschooling, UN schooling. It's a great concept. But because I like CC so much, I didn't want to give up CC. So I'm trying to see how we can do both. And you look up unschooling. You'll see why I'm talking about great situation. So that's what we do. We did a science project last week. We use, if you can see this, let me train change. We, uh, I, um, I have a subscription to Mel Science, which is all over social media. So we did the sugar snake thing. Honestly, ours didn't come out that great. But I still like the concept because because none of us in our household is into science, right? So I'm going to be real, right? I'm not making my kids do things traditional. That's why people homeschool as well. Just because way. the school system has failed so many people over these many years, okay? Um, and yes, does a child have a responsibility to do what they need to? Yes. I was one who frankly did not like school. I was a very good kid, quiet, nice, obedient. But school and me did not click. I'm not stupid. I am, I'm, I'm not stupid. I'm very, very intelligent. But I just couldn't deal with it. And then other things I didn't like about school. I didn't like seeing kids getting picked on. So all that stuff was like bombarding me. Like bombarding me. I did not want to be in school. I wish at the time my mother had thought about homeschooling. Because I, I believe I would have thrived in it. I really did do. So even adding on my children also last year... Jeremiah, I gave him, um, he took a course in outschool.com, which everybody has had, heard of. And this year he took one in architecture because he wants to be a designer and he's going to do another one next week. My oldest, he's so much into business. He's into Forex and all this trading stuff, which I don't understand any of I mean, he's seriously into it at 15 years old. He got into a program that helps youth. If you want to know about it, hit me up. Right, write a comment or something, and I'll figure out how to get in touch with you. And so I'm going to be enrolling him in a business course course for youth. I'm going through out school, but I think it's through a program. Well, no, there's many programs. So I just went through out school. So for teens to get him him, you know, situated. My daughter's a dancer like me. She loves dancing. So is my youngest son. He's a dancer too, but he's more he not more. He really loves designing things. Um, you should see him in his house. Like, look at this. He might get upset. I don't know what he's doing, but he's making some kind of map. He does this stuff, and I don't know what he's doing, but it's amazing. This just shows this is his, this is his thing. Oh, I'm seeing, even he has, he has Boston here. Oh, I need to talk to him about all this stuff. And believe it or not, all this, even though, though I did not give him this to do, this is a part of homeschooling because homeschooling is a life event. You know, that's another thing, especially if COVID wasn't here, my whole heart's desire was to world school my children as well. Travel the world. If you look up world schoolers, you'll see what some of them do. Um, one of the, the parents and children that's at in our CC program, she and her children, her family, they are world schoolers. 
they 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 were always involved in CC, but they weren't always there every time CC met because they've been to, I think she said five continents. They've been all over, and she said they are not rich. She found ways for them to save thousands of dollars, and they have gone places. So now during COVID, what I'm doing, I'm taking my children to DC. We're going to go to the National African American Museum. Then we're going to go to the Bible Museum. I want to go camping again. I'm just thinking of all the things we can do locally in the situation of 2020. I want to take them to the Empire State Building. Um, I even thought about something quirky like this. Go to a hotel near me that's like 15 minutes away. And we just spent two nights doing a little bit of homeschool. I mean, just tiny and just chill out in the hotel room. Just chill out. To stay in the bed and order in. Why not? Because you know what? When they become adults, they can't homeschool. They have to be on a schedule with work to have an income. They'll have to get up early. They'll have to be at a set time and get and then get home. This is the time for them to have some real enjoyable times of their life where their parents deal with all the other responsibilities. God bless you guys. I know homeschooling is not for everybody for so many reasons. But one of the things I will say is don't let this COVID situation change your mind on homeschooling if your children have been bored. Um, because I understand those children who are used to being with friends. Um, and I, I know kids who want to be homeschooled after my kids were homeschooled. But then now because of COVID, they're like, I want to go back with my friends, which I don't blame them. But if you... If not, if your child is being homeschooled and you have the time, make it different because it is fun. Uh, I know I'm saying I'm bye-bye, but I'm throwing so many other things in. I just remembered last week for math for my son, I had him measure each room on the second floor of our home. And then he's supposed to add them together. You know, I did not even check it. I forgot. I was out. And then I want him to do each, every other, every floor in the house. And so we can get the full square footage of the house. Why am I doing that? For two reasons. Math, so he understands area. Second, he wants to be a designer. He needs to know this stuff. And the other two, even though they don't want to be a designer, I'm still teaching them those basic things. We're not going to get into heavy, heavy stuff. Like, we're not getting into calculus unless he doesn't need, I don't believe he needs that for designing. But the reason why is because we know, my kids know, they're not interested in math to that degree. So we are focusing on what God has placed in them for them to do while in this earth. Focus. That's what school should have been about. When I was growing up, they had a little bit more focus. You know, we had home economics and stuff, but still wasn't enough. Kids need to, to even though they may not know completely, school needs to be restructured. And kids would have a whole lot more fun and be more interested if it was restructured and not done so. Bum, 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 bum. God bless you guys. And until I get another video up. Okay. Bye-bye.